Okay, good day grade 9 learners. So our topic for today is solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So we will be dealing with this formula on how to get the solution of our given quadratic equations. So for any given quadratic equation in one variable, in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, all you need to do is to substitute the corresponding values of the numerical coefficient a, b, and c from the standard form of the quadratic equation in our given formula. So I will be teaching you on how to use the formula and we just substitute the values of a, b, and c to get the solution. Let us say we have example 1. x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals to 0. Again, there are different ways on how to get the factors or rather get the solution set of the given quadratic equations. So we can make use of factoring general trinomial and then equate each factors by zero to get the solution. Pero this time, ay gagamitin natin yung quadratic formula because there are quadratic equations na hindi factorable using the general trinomial or hindi natin makukuha yung solution set with the use of factoring method. That's why we will be using the quadratic formula pero gumamit na ako dito ng madaling example. So, the first thing we should do is to identify the values of A, B, and C. So, make sure that our given equation is in general form. So, now, we can easily identify our A, B, and C. So, A, B, and C value. So, yung A natin, eto yung sa may x squared, ang constant ay 1. And then, this will be our B, yung 6. And then, our C is 5. Again, ang una nyo gagawin ay identify yung value ng A, B, C. Because, yung general form, A, X squared plus B, X plus C. So, yun na yung mga values ng A, B, at C. And then, we just substitute here in our quadratic formula. Uh, sige, i-direct na natin yung pagsasubstitute. X equals negative. So, lagi siyang merong negative, ha? Negative 6 positive negative squared of b squared. So, you have here 6 squared minus 4. Your a is 1 and your c is 5. All over 2 times 1. Again, sinabstitute lang natin lahat ng values sa ating quadratic formula and then we have here x equals to negative 6 positive negative square root of 6 squared you have here 36 minus 4 times 5 you have 20. All over, 2 times 1, you have 2. Then, x equals to negative 6. Positive negative square root of 36 minus 20, you have here 16 over 2. Then, you have here x equals to negative 6. Positive negative 4 over 2. Yan. Then after that, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang solution. So, one is for positive, then the other one is negative. For example, we have here x sub 1 for our first solution equals to negative 6 plus 4 over 2. And for the second one, we have here x squared equals to negative 6 minus 4 over 2. So, dito muna tayo sa x sub 1. Equals, negative 6 plus 4. You have here negative 2. 
and then over two. Then x sub one equals negative two divides two is negative one. So that will be our first solution. Next, or equals negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10 over 2. So x sub 2 equals to negative 10 divides positive 2 is negative 5. So therefore, our answer is negative 1 or negative 5. So let's have another example. Let me say we are asked to get the solution set of the given uh, quadratic equation 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals to 0 using quadratic formula. Again, let us identify a, B, and C that we are going to substitute in our quadratic formula. So you have here, so as you have seen, our quadratic equation is already in general form. So we can easily identify A, B, and C. So our A is 3, Our B is negative 4, and our C is negative 4. So we have here 3, negative 4, and negative 4. And then we're going to use our quadratic formula x equals to negative b, positive negative squared of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Then we just substitute all the values with our given formula equals negative your b is negative 4 positive negative square root of negative 4 squared minus 4, your A is 3, then your C is negative 4, all over 2 times 3. Then after substituting all the values, we need to simplify. So you have negative times negative is positive 4, plus and minus square root of negative 4 squared that is positive 16 and then negative times negative is positive so you have 4 times 3 is 12 times 4 is 48 all over 6 Then, we have 4 positive negative square root of 16 plus 48 equals to 64 over 6 equals 4 positive negative square root of 64 is 8 over 6. So, we can write it as x sub 1 equals to 4 plus 8 over 6. And then the other one, 4 minus 8 over 6. So let's start with x sub 1. Again, yung nakuha na natin dito na 4 plus minus 8 over 6, paghihiwalay lang natin because we have two solution. Okay? equals 4 plus 8 you have here 12 
divided by 6. So your x sub 1 is 12 divided by 6 is 2. Or 4 minus 8, you have here negative 4 over 6. Lowest term, x sub 2 equals to negative 2 thirds. So therefore, the solution set is 2 and negative 2 thirds. So yun lang, ganun kahaba yung ating solution. So that's how we get the solution set of the given uh, quadratic equations with the use of quadratic formula. Sige nga, i-recite natin. Our quadratic formula is x equals to negative b. Positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, ito ay isa sa mga paraan na pagkuha ng solution ng quadratic equations. So, I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on our next video lesson.